Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Arabic function. So the Arabic function is a new function in Excel 2013. Uh, we had the Roman function before, which you can take a regular number, like the number 1, 2, or 3, and with the no Roman function, it converts that to Roman numerals. Now, there wasn't really a way in versions prior to 2013 with a function to do the reverse. You take a Roman number and put it back into an Arabic number. So for example, the Roman numeral 10 should actually be the number 10 here. So in Excel versions 2013, you can actually do that with the Arabic functions. You can just type equal Arabic. Let me go ahead and just tab that to complete it. And I'll go ahead and select cell A2, close the parentheses, press enter, and you see that 148 is that number for that Roman number. Let me go ahead and click, double click the fill handle, bring it down, and it has done the same. So we see that Roman number X equals the number 10 in Arabic, or the Arabic number is number 10. Now, if you don't have Excel 2013, there's actually a function that will do that. Let me go ahead and just uh, bring the function over. So what this function does is it takes uh, a long string of numbers, 1, 2, 3, 9, and 9, in, in common separated values. It takes the Roman, uh, the Roman representation number of that and matches it to uh, this Roman number and brings back the Arabic numbers. So let me go ahead and press enter. And what happens actually, what you, you, you have to press control shift enter because this is an array formula because what it's going to do is it's going to separate this value, one, this one colon 399 into a bunch of comma separated values. So it's going to turn into an, an array. So you have to use the special keyboard combination of control shift enter. And it's going to put these curly brackets in there. So I'll go ahead and press enter and you've got 148. Let me go ahead and show you how the formula actually works. Let me go into formula and go under evaluate formula and we'll see how this formula exactly works. So here we're going to evaluate the function. What it's going to do with A2 is it's going to bring back that Roman number and then it's going to look at that indirect and pass this 13999 into the row function. And once it gets into the row function, what it's going to execute now is it's going to start to count the rows from uh, or start to cut the integers with that row function one two three four so you can have a long list or basically an array of uh, those numbers and you can see we have those numbers out there and what's going to happen is now it's going to pass uh, these numbers back into the Roman function and that matches to trying to compare uh, that particular value that was in a2 it's going to compare that Roman number to the Roman number that's going to convert for all these numbers and it's going to find a match and once it finds a match, so I'm not going to scroll down because it's going to be pretty long here. Once it finds a match, it will bring back the Arabic number, which is 148, right? So that's basically the function, or that's the fun that's the steps that this particular formula does. Uh, in order to execute it, we have to use the keyboard combination, Control Shift Enter, not just not just Enter, just, but Control Shift Enter to execute this function. So once that's done, I can go ahead and just double click the fill handle here and it will copy the formula down. So uh, in instances where you don't have Excel 2013 and you want to turn a Roman number back into an Arabic number, you would have to use this function. If you have 2013, Excel 2013, you can just use the Arabic function and it will accomplish that. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.